Are you overwhelmed by all the RV camping memberships and subscription services there are out there? Well, we want to share with you our six favorite camping memberships, why, the pros, and the cons. Hey guys, if you're a newbie camper, or even if you've been camping for a little while, you've probably seen all the tons of camping memberships and subscriptions that are out there and available. When we were newbies, we we bought tons of them. We've I think we've tried just about everything out there. Right. Some of them didn't just didn't quite fit our needs. No, and others did. You know, mm -hmm. others really worked out well. But you know, with the number of people that are now RVing and camping, mm -hmm. it's become more important than ever. Number one, to be able to plan your trips much sooner and book your campgrounds earlier. Because they're filling up. Because they're filling up like crazy. Mm -hmm. I think we got the last spot available in this campground. Right. But also. You know the campground prices have gone up and right. so you know we're going to share a little bit about what we do to sort of mitigate that but some of these memberships are really good at lowering the cost of camping right. so and you might not even be aware that your traditional rv resort or campground actually has discounts because you're not familiar with some of these memberships yeah yeah well Hey everybody, I'm Mike. And I'm Susan. And if you've seen us before, welcome back to the channel. We're sure glad to have you back. And if you've never seen us before, well, we are RV Blogger and we make tons of YouTube videos all about RVing. Mm -hmm. We also have our website, rvblogger.com, where we have hundreds of articles that we've written where you can go and use that as a resource to learn all about RVing as well. And then we have our ultra active Facebook group <laughs> which has just gone bananas. It's called yeah. RV Camping for Newbies. And it's mm -hmm. just, it's not just for newbies, it's for anyone that it wants to learn about camping, meet right. fellow RVers, find great places to go, get suggestions. It's been super active. So anyway, we hope you'll go ahead and subscribe to our channel. We really welcome you and hope you'll enjoy the video and come back to see more. Um, but in the meantime, let's get started with our reviews of our favorite memberships and, and subscriptions that we belong to. So our first category of memberships are the free overnight RV camping memberships that we like. And uh, the first one of those is Harvest Hosts. Now, if you've never heard of Harvest Hosts before, Harvest Hosts is made up of a group of farms, wineries, breweries, museums, all, kind, all kinds of places of interest that allow RVers to come stay on their property overnight for free. Right. It's really a cool membership, and I would guess that um, they have over, gosh, thirteen or fourteen hundred locations now, all mm -hmm. across the U.S. and Canada. They add more all the time. They also have a golf package that you can add on, mm -hmm. which adds another three hundred and fifty golf courses where you can stay overnight for free for all you golfers out there. Right. So. Um, it's just been a really great membership for us. We've really super enjoyed it. We've enjoyed also meeting the people that own these establishments. We get to learn a little bit more about the community and it's just a very cultural experience. Yeah, yeah. So you get to stay one night for free. And I would say our favorite thing about Harvest Hosts yeah. is what? I would say the favorite thing is just seeing all the beautiful locations. They're, they're always beautiful. Yeah, we've stayed at some um, just amazingly yeah, gorgeous stunningly. wineries, Beautiful. farms, yeah. uh, even some really cool breweries right. that we've stayed at. Right. Um, so that's, that's a really our, cool that's feature. That's our favorite thing about it. And the only con that I can think of to Harvest Hosts is that they don't have hookups at their locations. So, right. you know, they're meant to stay one night for free at each location. There's You're mm -hmm. unlimited, though. You can stay all year Because it's a courtesy. Places. You know, it's a courtesy that these establishments are providing. So they, they're not set up. For RVs, but it's a courtesy where they, you know, they want you to be there with them. Yeah, they hope to get some business from you, right? You'll right. come in and buy a bottle of wine or a six pack of beer, <laughs> and show your show right. your appreciation for letting letting for right. them letting you spend the night. Right. Um, but you do have to be in a self-contained unit. There's no electric water or sewer. Right. But for us, that's not a big deal. We're usually just passing mm -hmm. through anyway, and right. that fits our style of camping really, really right. well. Our pro outweighs our con. Yep. So our next favorite membership for staying places for free overnight is Boondockers Welcome. Now, if you've never heard of Boondockers Welcome before, that's made up of a bunch of fellow RVers that live all across the United States and up into Canada. And they're willing to allow other RVers 
to stay the night for free on their property. And so these locations vary quite a bit. I mean, we've actually stayed right in people's driveways. Right. We've stayed right on the side of their home. Mm -hmm. Some folks have really huge pieces of property. We've Best stayed, pieces of property. Yeah, we've stayed in the woods by ourselves in the <laughs> middle of nowhere on one guy's property and we stayed at another place. It was like a mansion on this river. Right on the, yeah. It I had thought it full was a lake. Hookups. It was huge. It was amazing. <laughs> it was crazy. Now, um, with, with Boondockers Welcome, one of the really cool things about it is it is free and three out of every four locations, and there are over 1,800 locations, and they add new ones every month also, um, but three out of every four locations have at least electric hookups for you to use. Um, some of them also have electric and water. Mm -hmm. We stated some that had full hookups. Right. And then there That's are. That's rare, but it happens. It's rare, but it happens. Yeah. And there are also a few that have no hookups at all. So, right. but when you go on the Boondockers Welcome, you can look at each location, see what they offer. Right. Contact the owner. The and owner will have. And there's pictures of the property. Pictures, mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, a little story about them. Yeah. Yeah. And then you know you can stay for free with them. So what do you? What would you say our favorite thing is about? Boondockers welcome. Uh, well, I, I've enjoyed uh, meeting fellow RVers. Yeah. You know, I, I've enjoyed learning their story. How long have they been RVing and yeah. why do they want to offer this service? Why do they want somebody to come spend the night at yes. their house in an RV? Always an I, interesting question. They yeah. enjoy meeting people too is usually right. the answer. <laughs> and, uh, and I just think it's super kind. You know, I just, I'm very gracious. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a fantastic way to meet other RVers and we right. really enjoy that. Right. The only con to it is that um, I guess, I don't know, it's not every location has hookups and you might be staying the night in someone's driveway, but you right. always know where you're yeah. going to stay before you get I there. Mean, you, you could be in a community. Yeah. Um, and, and so, you know, it, it's not the prettiest of locations, but the whole idea is that you're just boondocking. You're staying there for one night and headed back out on the road the next day. So sometimes you're just tired and you just want to go to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> Some locations even let you stay longer if you ask right. too, so that's kind of cool. But anyway, that's a quick rundown of, of Boondockers Welcome and right. pros and cons. And, and once why again, we like our it. pros outweigh our con. Oh, absolutely, for sure. We use this one all the time, just like Harvest Hosts. All right, our third and final free camping uh, subscription service that we really love is OvernightRVParking.com. And if you've never heard of that before, OvernightRVParking.com is a database that has over 14,000 locations across the U.S. and Canada where you can and can't stay for free overnight. Right, because they'll even tell you places that won't You can't allow stay. It. You yeah. thought they could, but they won't. Right, and so this is the very first membership we bought, and we had no idea we would enjoy it as right. much as we have over right. the years. It's really worked out great. Now, here's the deal with it. Everyone knows like you can stay at a Walmart or a Cracker Barrel or maybe at a Costco or a truck stop mm -hmm. or a rest area overnight for free, mm -hmm. except that's not totally true. Some locations allow you to stay and others don't. Right. So there are, you can't stay overnight for free at there every- There are some Walmart you can't. There, yeah, you can't stay every mm -hmm. night at every Cracker Barrel. Some jurisdictions right. don't allow it, so those mm -hmm. stores can't let you stay, or maybe the managers decided they don't want that people staying in the parking lot. There's right. a bunch of reasons, but overnight RV parking, uh, they have a database where the RVers go and update mm -hmm. and say, hey, I stayed at this particular Walmart overnight mm -hmm. for free. We were allowed to stay. There's a gas station nearby and a Chick-fil-A. And mm -hmm. if you want to get some food or gas, everything's right there. So you get a lot of information. Right. They may even say the road noise was too much. Yeah. Or there was a bright light overhead shining in their window the entire night. So yeah. they're going to give you a very thorough unbiased review of whether or not it's worth going there. So we like this membership a lot because we travel a lot and so when we're moving from point A to point B if we just want to stay somewhere and spend the night mm -hmm. and not spend 50, 60, and 70 safe. bucks on a campground and, feel, and safe. feel safe we just look it up in our overnight RV parking app mm -hmm. we know we can go to that Cracker Barrel yeah. and we go right to it and there's no I mean it even no gives problems. you coordinates. <laughs> yeah it does everything. <laughs> when, in it's the fantastic. menu. Right. <laughs> so I don't know, what would you say our favorite thing about it is? Uh, I know what mine is. It's yours. Breakfast at Cracker Barrel. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> True. I love that part of it. 
I think my favorite thing is this is just so many and and I feel like no matter yeah. where we go we're gonna find a place we could stay yeah. for free if we need to and it's never far off the beaten path right. either it's no. they're always like right a mile or two off the beaten path so right. it's never a problem mm -hmm. so I would say the only con to it is that there are so many locations mm -hmm. like there are literally over 14,000 locations that they're not all updated all the time right. and so the more people that use the app that take a few minutes and update the location right. the better it'll be for all of us right. and jim the owner jim o'brien the owner he goes in and actually updates everything he can as much as he can mm -hmm. especially with the whole COVID thing you know they had to go and update a whole lot of locations because they changed their policies during right. COVID. so the information is accurate and pretty up to date mm -hmm. there are a few spots that haven't been updated in a while that's the only con i can really think of right and when we find those we just update them right so great app um and we think you know if depending on the kind of traveler you are right it can really really come in right handy. so these three apps and memberships again they're for someone who um you know maybe you're just staying someplace very quick on your route you don't mind having not having hookups you know that's not a, a problem for you so you know it's a specific type of rv or, or camper that might benefit from those three apps yep so we'll move on to our next category, which is discount camping memberships. Right. And there's a couple of those that we use all the time as well. So we'll review those next. Hey guys, I've written detailed blog articles about every one of these memberships and subscriptions. So if you're interested in learning more, I'll put the links down below so you can click over to the blog articles and read all about them. So one of our favorite RV camping discount memberships that's geared primarily to campgrounds is called the dirt yeah we love the dirt and they have um, an amazing number of campgrounds in their database they have over 44,000 campgrounds which is the largest in any other app that we know of right. out there on the market and they have over a million campground reviews which is also the most that we know of so if when we're looking for campgrounds the dirt is the first place that we go to find them because they have so many listed and then there's tons of reviews right so we can check them out and see what other right. people think before we decide so you if feel we comfortable stay. you feel safe you know other people have stayed there and they've had a good experience and if they had a bad experience experience you know not to go there yeah <laughs> and and that this part of the dirt that's just free is free yeah yeah and now we've paid for the pro membership and the, the advantages to the pro membership and there are quite a few but one of them is that you know when when you go from the standard to the pro now you can get discounts on all those or a bunch right. of those campgrounds that they have and the discounts range anywhere from 10 to 40 percent off mm -hmm. on an overnight stay right and then they also have a you know a basic trip planning tool they also have downloadable maps and things so if you lose cell service on the way right. to your campground which happens all the time yeah they have that trip planning tool that allows you to, to download that information yeah so you can get where you're going whether you mm -hmm. have cell service or not which mm -hmm. is is pretty important right um, and they also have uh, BLM and forest service maps so you right. can find great boondocking locations as well yeah. which is a big deal because you can download those also because mm -hmm. a lot of times when you're boondocking you're not going to have cell service you will lose your cell service <laughs> so so uh, the pro version is really a nice uh, a nice add-on which again we use that all the time as well right so um, what do you think our favorite thing about the dirt is um, I think the fact that uh, they have the free service that allows you unlimited um, you know campground and yep. reviews I, yep. I think that um, you know, being able to feel comfortable and safe going someplace and knowing somebody had a good, you know, good review about something yeah. and that part's free. I think that's, yeah. that's great. I kind of like the, uh, fact that we can download oh, yeah. on, the on the pro, on the pro version. version, we can download cause we we're in yeah. the mountains and all of a sudden, yeah. man, we don't know where the heck we're going. And yeah. so it's we have it downloaded. It's real simple. That's yeah. true. I don't know what the con would be to it other than to say, they have so many campgrounds in their database that there are a few that don't have any reviews, mm -hmm. but the dirt does a great job. They incentivize all their oh, yeah. users to write reviews on the campgrounds. They have right. contests. You can win a contest. You can win free gear. You, you can win all kinds of stuff if you review campgrounds. So that's True. kind of fun. Yeah. And um, that encourages people to write more reviews. So eventually they'll have reviews on every right. single campground, right. but there's a few that don't. Mm -hmm. 
have any. But all in all, it's a great product. Right. We use it, we love it all the time. Mm -hmm. Another RV camping discount membership plan that we like is Passport America, and it's primarily based for campgrounds as well. Yeah, and Passport America basically is a, I guess there's over 1,800 campgrounds all across the U.S. and Canada. They all participate together, and they offer discounts of up to 50% yeah. on your overnight camping fees, which is a huge amount. Yeah. Most than many others. Oh yeah, it's more than a lot of others. I don't yeah. really know of many others that offer up to 50% off. So it's a great deal. It's a great way for us to save money. Mm -hmm. The nice thing about it is you can save that huge amount of money, but this, this membership's not for everyone because the discounts are mainly available Sunday night through Thursday night. Right. So if you're a weekend warrior. Or holidays. Yeah, it's not available on holidays. So if you're a weekend warrior or a holiday vacation kind of camper, probably not the best membership, mm -hmm. but if you camp on weeknights, right. it's a fantastic membership because right. you can save a lot of money with it. A lot it. of money. Um, we've been to a lot of uh, Passport America locations. Some of the campgrounds are really, really tremendous. Right. Um, others, you know, they're a little more off the beaten mm -hmm. path. They're a little more rustic, a little mm -hmm. older, but. And when you go onto the website, um, it'll give you all the details about the campground, the amenities, yeah. um, any uh, activities for children, maybe even there's pictures, there's reviews. So, yeah. you know, you do get some details about that particular campground. And they are very, very clear about what days the discounts are available. Right. And There's which always days a little side note of additional not. information. Yeah, so you're never confused about right. it. It's very, very upfront. So mm -hmm. you won't you won't plan something and then regret it later. Right. You know, so that's kind of nice. Mm -hmm. So what would you say our favorite thing about Passport um, America is? Well, I guess the discount. I mean, yeah, it's pretty <laughs> we like big to discount. save money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fifty percent off is yeah pretty pretty significant yeah. especially when you roll in and it's 70 bucks a night I mean that's yeah. a big discount some, some campgrounds are pretty yeah. outrageous <laughs> yep and then I would say the only negative is it's really Sunday through Thursday for the most part some campgrounds have right. other discounts but for the most part it's it's right. mainly it, it may not be suitable for everyone based on that yeah so finally on our list is by far our favorite trip planning tool, and that's RV Trip Wizard. Yeah, we love RV Trip Wizard. It's part of the RV Life group of apps that are available. So when you join RV Trip Wizard or you join RV Life, you get everything, including the RV Trip Wizard trip planning tool, which is fantastic. It when you you can tr plan your trip from anywhere where you are to where you want to go. It'll show every single campground, state right. park, national park, points of interest all along the way. Uh, lots of folks travel with their dogs. You it'll show veterinary right. hospitals or vet offices along the way. Gas stations, grocery stores, po all kinds of points of interest. Mm -hmm. You name it, it'll show it on there. Um, and so it's just a phenomenal tool to really fully plan your trip and where you want to stop and what you want to do and what you want to see. It'll even help you navigate the gas stations if you know you can only drive a certain amount of time. Yeah, till you run out of gas. Till you run out of gas. It'll, it'll, it'll let you know that you're going to have a, a gas station along the route. Yeah, it's a pretty cool tool. So we use that a lot. And then along with it, uh, the RV Life app has a really great GPS that you can use right on your cell phone so you don't have to go out and buy a separate GPS if you don't want to. So that's a fantastic and it's meant for RVs so it won't take you down a road with a bridge that you can't go under or anything like that. Right. Um, so that's phenomenal. They also have their app where you can find campgrounds and read reviews from other campers as well. Mm -hmm. So they really offer a lot under their umbrella of different apps that all fall in and work together with one another. So right. uh, it's a fantastic tool. We use it all the time. Mm -hmm. So what's your favorite thing? Well, my favorite thing is that everything populates and it's visual. So I can see a map right. of where I am and where I want to go and every single thing that's in between. Mm -hmm. And I can turn the filters on and off so I right. can see what I want to see. So I can see all campgrounds mm -hmm. or I can see all points of interest mm -hmm. or all gas stations. Okay. I can turn them off independently, on and off. So that's what I like about it. I think mm -hmm. it's really, really cool. Okay. And what would be your con? So the only con to RV Trip Wizard is um, you probably need to take yeah. a good 30 minutes 
and watch some it. videos and mm -hmm. learn how to use it. It's not, you know, really like you just turn it on and use it right away. Mm -hmm. But but RV Trip Wizard on their website and also on YouTube, um, and we even made a video about it. There are tons of videos out there mm -hmm. that will show you how to use the program. So if you just sit down for 30 minutes, watch some of those videos, you'll know exactly what to do and then you can practice and have fun and it's really easy once you know what to right. do. Right. So, but those are our favorite, that's our favorite trip planning tool by Absolutely. far and True. we've tried others and they just, they're just not as robust at all. So, right. So. Very thorough. Yep. So those are the six different kinds of RV camping memberships that we use. We find that those save us the most money, the most time, yeah. uh, the most thorough, uh, and, and, and to get the best camping experience. And um, we're hoping that you have seen something, uh, one of the six or more, that maybe interests you and might fit your lifestyle, whether you enjoy boondocking with free camping or just getting a discount at a campground. Yeah, yeah. And so um, I've written an article about each one of these things. So if you want all the skinny, all the details, I'll right. put the links down below to the blog articles so mm -hmm. you can read them in depth. I'll also put some links down below for discounts to each one of these memberships. So right. if there's one or two that you think would fit your camping style, you can save a little money on the membership cost as well. Right. And if you have a membership or an app that you use that we didn't review in this video, Please list it down below. Tell us what you like about it, why you like it, yeah. and that way we can. We might want to check it out. Yeah, and, we definitely want to check it out. And our viewers might want to check it out because you know we're yeah. all willing to learn and we're all trying to save learn. money. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but anyway, as always, speaking of check it out, if you'd like to check out some of our other videos, just click down below, and that'll take you to another one of our videos that we make. Also, please remember to subscribe to the RV Blogger YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. And when you do, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every week when we put out a brand new video. So for Mike and Susan, thanks for watching, and we'll see, see you, you next time. time.